Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. We, we have to make a choice. All of us have to make a choice tonight. And that choice is very simple. Am I going to follow God or am I going to do what I want to do? Am I going to do what, uh, what feels good or what, all of those things? But I, I have to choose to follow God, right? I have to choose to follow Jesus. Uh, I got to I got to choose to follow him in my circumstances, uh, whatever circumstances that that I have in my life. Uh, <laughs> you see, God is not my ability or my understanding. God is God. See, the question is, what do we believe? Do we really believe that God is able to do things in my life? Do we really believe that God is 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 going to fulfill the promise? Do we believe God is going to be faithful? in my life do we do we be really believe that see I, I i think that there's this is true i think most of the time we we or at least if we're willing to admit it we get stuck we get stuck or what feels like we get stuck we get stuck in a rut all right we're stuck in a rut and i could write a song about that but we're stuck in a rut and a rut is just simply a, a grave with both ends kicked out and we just keep going down the same path doing the same thing and expecting God to show up and, and lift me up out of the, the rut that I'm in, to take me up out of the, the rut. But see, that's not the, 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 the thing is, is that I believe that we're stuck because we stop. All right? We only get stuck because we stop. We only get stuck because we take our eyes off of what God is trying to do. God is trying to do something through us and in us and, and for us. And, 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 and we get into that process and we get discouraged. We get weary in well-doing and we, 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 we no longer want to let God be God in our life. And we forget that he's faithful in us and that he wants to work out our salvation, work out our, the plan that he has for my life. And, and we must, we must begin, begin to grow. Let, let the word of God come in and grow us up out of the rut that we're in. Okay? Grow up out of the rut. Uh, uh, stop stopping what God is trying to do in your life. Uh, uh, Romans 3 verse 4 it says it says let God be true right so the, the the truth is that the Word of God is the truth of God and it is the the it, it is true see I have to believe that what he said is true and that he will be faithful to fulfill what he said he would do the promise in my life will come to pass amen and we must believe that uh, uh, God, God is the one that's going to justify it. God is the one that's going to fulfill His word. It's, if, if God is not a liar, right, and, and, and that's what that verse says, it says, let God be true and let uh, every, man, uh, uh, every man be a liar, uh, is, is, is so true because the lies that we believe or the truth that we believe in us is not the truth that God is speaking in, uh, to us. For, even tonight, He's speaking truth to us. Right, but I'm supposed to be an overcomer. <laughs> I love that word overcomer because the, the the reason that I can say that word is because my faith. What is who? What what causes us to be an overcomer is our faith, our belief that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond all I can think, ask, or even imagine. God is able to do in my life, and He's going to do it because he is faithful and because he's God and we place our faith in that and 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 we stop stopping or 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 we get so sick and tired of being stuck that we stop stopping what God is trying to do amen <laughs> it's time to start not stop i'm i'm going to tell you this i i feel this really strongly it's time to start doing what God has said 